More than 80 people per day moved to Nashville in 2021. Let me repeat that. More than 80 people a day moved to Nashville, not the state of Tennessee, but the city of Nashville in 2021. And more people moved to the state of Tennessee in 2020 than any other state. Hi, my name is Samantha and I'm a realtor with EXP here in Nashville, but outside of that, I'm a wife, a dog mom, a part-time nurse, and one of the 80 people that moved to Nashville. So why are people moving to Tennessee and even more specifically the Nashville area? Well, jobs is a big reason. Healthcare is the leading source of jobs here. Large corporations are expanding into the Nashville area, one of them being Amazon with their headquarters downtown and the warehouse in Mount Juliet. It's actually the largest warehouse in the US. Other companies are moving to Nashville as well, such as Facebook and Oracle. So another big reason is of course, there's no state income tax. Tennessee is one of the nine states that does not have state income tax. And that is a big incentive for people to move here. Keeping more of your money always sounds like a good idea. And certainly being from a higher cost area, like myself, I'm from California, the cost of living here is significantly reduced. Homes are affordable, gas, groceries, and energy costs are a lot lower. Now, we know the amount of people moving here and some of the reasons why. I like to share with you my testimonial and some of the things that I wish were shared with me earlier that would have made my transition easier, and I'm hoping that my story will bring you some value. So about two years ago, prior to moving to the Nashville area, I took a girl's trip to Nashville where we explored the city, did a bunch of touristy things, and overall just really enjoyed the trip. I'd been to Nashville a couple times, but this time it was different. The people were so nice. I could be in the city one minute and then the country the next. We actually ended up going to a really popular brunch spot called uh, Loveless Cafe. And we, we drove around the neighborhoods and just remember thinking like, this is home. This feels like home, which I hadn't experienced before really traveling anywhere else. So, in addition, my husband has been traveling back and forth to Nashville for a while as a songwriter. And the conversations just kept coming up of relocating. But more importantly, we started talking more about what we wanted our life and family to look like. Neither of us agreed that raising a family where we were both from in Southern California to be the best option. Housing prices are going through the roof. Even in a double income family, it was going to be difficult to get a family home in a good area. The LA lifestyle wasn't something we wanted our kids to really be influenced by. I was a full-time nurse prior to starting my career in real estate. And about six months after my girl's trip to Nashville, my husband and I devised a plan on how we would get to move here. I decided to become a travel nurse, but first we traveled to Hawaii because why not? But that's a story for another time. And after that, we ended up back in California where we bought a trailer, packed it full and road tripped cross country to Tennessee. So deciding to move is physical, of course, packing up all of your stuff and dealing with the logistics of that can be really stressful. But there's a big emotional aspect to it as well that a lot of people don't talk about leaving a home or city you've lived in for a long time and leaving family and friends, those are all emotions you have to manage when making this big life decision. Now, having gone through this myself, I'm hoping I can use this channel to share with you what I learned in the process and what I love about the city and its surrounding areas. My background in nursing, has been so fulfilling and rewarding. I loved helping people through their most difficult and vulnerable times. And I feel like relocating and buying a home can bring up very similar emotions. You're starting a new life in a new place. As a homeowner and fellow transplant, I empathize greatly with the emotions and logistics that come with moving out of state. I wanna be a resource for you and be here for you. If you have questions or concerns, as you consider taking that next step or making similar changes. So first and foremost, please be sure to click the like button on this video and subscribe to my channel. 
It'll help you stay up to date on what's going on in the Tennessee housing market, but also motivates me to put out more content. Let's talk about Nashville. We'll start with weather. So the Nashville area ranges in temperature from 31 degrees to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And we get about 49 inches of rain per year, which is higher than the national average. For sure, fall and spring are my personal favorites because they're not crazy hot or crazy cold. Um, winters are pretty mild. Californians would say they're not, but compared to the rest of the nation, yes, they are pretty mild. The temperature ranges from 30 to 50 degrees with occasional snowfall, which is always fun because Nashville does have snow days here. And summers are hot and humid, not gonna sugarcoat it. Temperatures easily reach about 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And with the added humidity, it can feel over 100 degrees almost every day. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, there is a lake life here in Tennessee. There's a lake about 20, 25 minutes from the downtown area. People fish, wake surf, kayak. There's also shallow areas where people tie up their boats and hang out in waist deep water. It's a great way to cool off. So that's just a little bit about the weather here. So now I wanna share with you the five reasons I moved to the Nashville area. Reason number one. The versatility here. So there are countless neighborhoods and suburbs outside the downtown area that make Nashville so incredible. Anything from walkable neighborhoods with boutique stores and coffee shops to farmland with large acre lots. You could totally be feeding your goats in the morning and catch a band downtown that night in an Uber. My husband and I actually live about 25 minutes from the city, but we live on an acre of land with this pond behind our house where we go fishing all the time. And not only does the versatility apply to your neighborhood, it also applies to the housing style as well. There's so many different types of home to please everyone from traditional brick homes to modern homes to bungalows and craftsmen, you name it, it exists. Or you can buy some land and build your dream home. Anything is possible here. Number two, expansion. Now, I know you're all well aware of the low housing inventory that's happening right now. One disadvantage that a lot of other cities have is there are defined boundaries that are undeveloped. So, or undevelopable, excuse me. So like, for example, an ocean, a large lake, or a mountain range, but Nashville and the surrounding area has lots of room to grow and develop on. If you want a small condo in a high rise downtown in like a walkable area with minimal, you know, upkeep, you can do that. Or if you want a traditional brick home with five acres and you want a garden and a ranch and goats and chickens, you can do that as well. And Nashville is gonna keep growing and keep building. Reason number three, things to do. Mostly what you see and hear about Nashville tends to revolve around Music City and all that Broadway has to offer. And don't get me wrong, the country music was part of the draw for me in the beginning. And the energy downtown is like nothing I've experienced before. But Nashville and the state of Tennessee is so much more than just country music and whiskey. First, like we talked about, the lake life. There are multiple lakes nearby with campgrounds, boat launches, lakefront restaurants, and second is hiking. So there's waterfalls and trails and there's the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, which is close by, which is the most visited national park in all of the US. I learned that recently. And there you can find Dollywood. And if you crave that mountain life and that escape, it is just a short drive away. So, and there's also some wineries here, believe it or not. And in the summertime, they have live concerts and activities and things like that. I just think it's such a beautiful state and you'll never run out of things to do. Reason number four, cost of living. So depending on where you're moving from, this may or may not be true for you, 
But based on statistics, most people moving to Nashville are from higher cost areas. So with that being said, the most recent report for the median home price in Metro Nashville is about $428,000. The average home price in the state of Tennessee is only $282,000. So depending on what area you are looking to move to, you could probably find something within your budget. You just have to look at the right places and find the right person with that inside knowledge to help you find it. Not only can you find an affordable house, the Tennessee lifestyle, like I mentioned earlier, is very affordable. Compared to high cost states like California or New York, beer is cheaper, gas is cheaper. Tennessee is actually ranked number six out of 50 states on the cheapest places to live. Number six, reason number five, Southern hospitality and community. The reason I bring this up is because the community and the people in it are who you and your family are surrounded by on a day-to-day -day basis. Whether your kids are trying to make new friends or you're trying to get to know your neighbors, that genuine Southern hospitality that is showcased here in Tennessee is the norm and makes it that much easier to adapt to a new environment. My husband and I were actually in church recently and they asked a room of roughly 500 people to raise their hand if they were transplants from another state and I swear to you easily over half of the room raised their hand My husband and I looked at each other and were so surprised But I'll tell you what we both left that day a little more confident knowing we weren't the only ones adapting and transitioning our life And now that we moved here we have friends and family and acquaintances contacting us because now they're thinking of moving to Tennessee and now I get to share our experience with them and you, and it comes full circle, which is a really great feeling. So again, my five reasons were versatility, expansion, things to do, lower cost of living, and sense of community. The reason I'm putting these videos together is because I, I wish I had more information other than what I pieced together scouring the internet for countless hours before making a big move across the country. I'm using this channel to be that resource for you. So hopefully I can answer questions and make this decision a little less scary. I've been through it and I wanna make the process as easy as I can for you. So if you're considering moving to Nashville or the surrounding area like Mount Juliet, Franklin, Clarksville, Hendersonville, or one of the many other great areas in Tennessee, I'd love to be that resource for you and help you walk through the process.